This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create luminous fire spirit animals. For your convenience, I provided this image of a leopard that we'll use in this tutorial. In addition, I provided this image of flames as well as a set of smoke brushes that we'll use later. Their links are in this video's description or project files. Before we begin, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, smash that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. First, we'll add a solid black color behind our leopard by control or command clicking the new layer icon. This makes a new layer under the leopard. Before we fill it with black, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard to revert them to its default colors. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Make the leopard active and click the adjustment layer icon. Click black and white. Click the adjustment layer icon again and click Curves. Curves essentially shows the tonality of our image in a graph. For our leopard image, go to the middle of the line on the graph and drag it two rows up and one column to the left. Go to the bottom left and drag it over a bit past the two columns. Drag the curves below the black and white adjustment layer. This order brings out the midtones of our leopard more and gives it a bit less contrast. Make the top layer active and click the adjustment layer icon once more. Click Invert. Shift click the leopard to make it and all the layers above it active and click the icon at the upper right. Click Convert to Smart Object. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control or Command click any of the channels to make a selection of it. Open back the Layers panel and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Click the Foreground Color to open the Color Picker. In the hexadecimal field, type in FFD800. To fill our selection with this color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it by pressing Control or Command D. Hide the black and white leopard and double click the top layer to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow and the color box. Pick a bright red. Change the blend mode to screen, the opacity to 70% and the size to 25 pixels. Make a new layer. Control or Command click the black and white leopard to make a selection of its shape. We'll fill the selection with a solid color. You could keep the color yellow, but for the sake of showing you how the next filter works, click the foreground color and change it. Fill the selection with that color and deselect it. Drag the fill to 0%. This makes the color you picked invisible, but it'll retain the full visibility of all the layer styles we'll be adding to it. Double click the thumbnail to open the layer style window. Click Outer Glow. The color is bright red and the blend mode is normal. The opacity is 20% and the size is 100 pixels. Click Inner Glow and change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity to 70%. Make the size 30 pixels. Open the flames image I provided. To place it onto our glowing leopard, press V to open the move tool and drag the flames onto the tab of the leopard document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Change the blend mode to screen. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the flames. There are two ways we can reveal or mask out the flames. Later, I'll show you how we can reveal the flames through an inverted layer mask. Since we'll be making several copies, we'll create a folder to place them into. Press Ctrl or Command G. 
Name it Flames. Make the Flames layer active and press Ctrl or Command J eight or nine times to make eight or nine copies. If we don't use them all, we can always delete the unused layers. Hide all the flames except the first one. Make it active. Make sure Auto Select is not checked. This will prevent another layer from becoming active as you're trying to move a specific flame. Drag it to a position that you'd like to place the flames onto. For example, I moved it here because I like the way this part of the flames looks over the top of the leopard's head, shoulders, and back. I'm not concerned about the rest of the flames because we'll be masking out those areas. Make the layer mask active. Open your brush tool and brush picker. For now, pick a soft round brush. I'll make its size 40 pixels, but feel free to adjust the amount. The hardness is 0%, and the opacity and flow are both 100%. Brush over the area of the leopard where you want the flames hidden. To resize your brush, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. If you want to reveal back some of the flames, press X on your keyboard to invert your foregrounded background colors and brush over those areas. To hide larger areas, open your pencil tool and draw over those areas to mask them out. Click the chain link of the next layer between the layer and the layer mask. This unlinks them, which will allow us to move and resize either of them independently of the other. Make the layer visible and active. Open your Move tool. Decide where you'd like the flames to appear on the leopard and choose which part of the flames you'd like to use. Drag it to that location. We'll mask out the areas of the flames that you don't want covering the leopard. If the area you'd like to add the flames to is relatively small, make the layer mask active and invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. This masks out the entire flame layer. To reveal back the flames, we'll brush white over the layer mask. Invert your foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. White is now our foreground color. Open back your brush tool and brush inside the face. We'll reveal back some areas outside the leopard, however, it'll look more effective if we use a smoke brush. As I mentioned at the beginning, I provided a set of smoke brushes. After you install it, open the brush picker, scroll down to it, and open the folder. There are dozens from which to choose. I encourage you to experiment with them. Once you pick a brush, press Enter or Return. To reduce its size, press the left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over areas until there's just the right number of flames. Continue these steps until you're happy with the way it looks. Lastly, we'll add a sizzling heat glow emanating from our leopard. Close the flames folder and scroll to the bottom. Make the black background active and make a new layer above it. Place it into a folder and make the empty layer active. Click the foreground color and pick a dark red color. Open your brush picker and pick a soft round brush. Increase its size to 1500 pixels. Go to approximately here and click once. Move your cursor to the center and click. Then. Go to approximately here and click again. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. Press D on your keyboard to revert your colors to black and white respectively. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Right now, the effect is too subtle, so we'll make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Change the blend mode of the top one to screen and change the middle one to dissolve. Then close the folder. We'll reduce the intensity surrounding the leopard by making the layer mask active next to the folder and reducing the brush's opacity to approximately 40%. Reduce the brush's size to approximately 700 pixels and brush outside the leopard. To restore back some of the dark red color, Press X on your keyboard to invert the foreground and background colors 
and brush over those areas. Feel free to reduce its opacity as well. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.